Jetzt machen wir da weiter, wo wir eben in der Diskussion aufgehört haben, nämlich wir gehen über zum Mixed Move und dazu Arjan Kerkhoff. Äh, was macht Arjan? Arjan ist bei Mixed Move dafür zuständig, dass wir eben, wenn wir etwas in den LKW tun, dass wir das optimal und ja, äh, mit dem wenigstmöglich äh, Luftanteil, in dem man Routen konsolidiert, äh, zum Endkunden bringen. Wie das und auch das Thema cross tracking gut gesteuert werden kann, das erzählt euch jetzt Arjan selber. Herzlich willkommen, welcome to the uh, masterclass from Mixmove. I would like to know a little bit who's in the audience. Um, who knows already about Mixmove? I don't see that many hands, so um, good that I'm here uh, to tell you a little bit more about Mixmove. I will uh, go through the slides with you, a few slides. If you have questions, we can do it later, or we can do it at the booth. We are at B6, at the other side, B6. Mix move. who are we? We are and we offer an award-winning collaborative cloud platform and lightning logistics data. And that all with the aim of making logistics processes connected, efficient, and sustainable. We are Norwegian-based in Oslo, and uh, we are established, the current uh, organization, in 2017. And we have a subsidiary in Portugal, in Lisbon. And in Lisbon, we've got our development and uh, implementation managers. What Mixmove does, we provide uh, one cloud solution, that revolutionizes the loading of goods. I will tell you a little bit more how we do that. It's really revolutionary. We have been awarded the Cool Vendor Award 2017-2019. So it, it tells us that we are doing something right in the uh, complex logistics landscape. And what we do with the, uh, with the platform, with the solution, is we make uh, logistics processes efficient, connected, and sustainable without, that's an important one, time-consuming and costly changes. There are a lot of challenges in the logistics industry. I mean, um, if I ask you about mixed move, unfortunately, no one knew us so far. Now you know. But if I would ask you, do you know Ever Given, what would be your, who knows Ever Given? Exactly. So Ever Given is more known. Because this ocean vessel, when it blocks a Suez Canal, a lot of things got stuck. And then it's important that you're organized well. Five challenges, what we see, is uh, insufficient computerization. Before Mixed Move, I was working at Maersk, the ocean carrier, and one of my colleagues said, I cannot work paperless. He worked with that kind of paper on his desk. And I said, if you cannot work with paperless, uh, then maybe you do less paper. And we see what we can do with computerization. What we also see is underutilization of assets. Um, because there's hardly any shipment consolidation, um, cargo ownership, carriers take it, and um, yeah, if you don't discuss with them how to optimize, there's a lot of underutilization. If we go to the right side, for example, you see only 52% on average the truck fill rate. 52%, it means it's only the bottom, but what do you do on top of it? We can help you with that, with our, our revolutionary way of loading goods. I will tell you more. What you also see is traditional practices, linear shipment, shipment change. It goes from A to B. And in our philosophy, 
and optimization loading, you can combine. You go from A to B, for example, you can go over C, D, E, as long as it makes sense to optimize, optimize your loading, reduce cost, reduce CO2. Uh, low resilience, I spoke about the ever given. That was a big problem. And it's not only the ever given, it's still a big problem. I mean, the ever given uh, was a challenge. Uh, COVID, of course, an even bigger challenge. But now, the other challenge is what we see. There are a lack of containers. If you want to ship, you cannot ship because there is no container. Uh, and if you've got a container, probably you don't have space on the vessel. So what is needed, uh, and this is not a lack, it's the lack of collaboration. If people don't collaborate, it's everyone organizes his own logistic chain. And if you collaborate, you can even get better results. And I will show you later which results, because the digitalization is only 43%, and the CO2 emissions, it's 400 million tons, so it's huge. And we need to do something about it. And this is what makes MUFL do. Um, when we look at logistics, a lot of companies are stuck in the dark. I gave you the example of Maersk, not knowing exactly where containers are. I mean, they know it when it's on the vessel, but if not on the vessel, if it's on land, they don't know always where the containers are. And probably in your company as well, there are silo-based applications which offer only a one-dimensional view. I give you some time to read it, and I will pronounce it as well. Mixmove is the world's first logistics cloud platform which connects all data silos, unites teams, automates processes for multi-enterprise transparency. So far, so good. But then the last thing is on a parcel level. And often it's on a shipment level, which may consist of different parcels. But we really do it on parcel level. And even in warehouses on item level, we can do that via the barcoding, the SSCC labels, the GS1 standards. With Mixmove, you will get an unleashed superpower. Superpower consists of three powers, as we defined it. It's the visibility power, it's the product level power, and it's optimization power. And with Mixmove, I will show you another slide where I really can explain how we do it. You, you will get one single source of truth. I mean, if you ask a carrier, they don't know exactly. If you ask uh, the, the, the customer service, they don't know exactly. But if these companies work with Mixmove, they will know exactly, and they will have the single source of truth. With the product level power, you will know and will be able to deliver on time in full. Of course, companies are able to deliver on time. But the next question is, are you able to deliver in full? Is the shipment complete? And if it's not complete, how do you communicate? Because if you give them a bill of lading, and on the bill of lading is five parcels, which you deliver four, I can predict you will get complaints. Your customer service will get complaints. So with makes move, you will deliver on time in full by knowing on a product level what's going on. And we will take care that the documentation with it is complete and will no raise further questions. And then with the technology, I, I always say with the secret behind it, the Mixmove algorithms determine cost-efficient planning and execution of your partners' transport modes and resources. We spoke with a big Dutch platform. If I tell you Amazon and then the big Dutch platform, you know the name. Probably um, it's not Zalando, but the other one with three letters. And they told us they work with surprise inbound. And then we said surprise inbound. It may be that the supplier just puts there thousands of boxes in the warehouse, and the warehouse needs to tackle that. And with our technology, we know exactly what's coming in, when it's coming in, and what is the next destination. Is the next destination warehouse? Is the next destination? It's already ordered, paid, and needs to be shipped. Here, I explain you a little bit more about the lighthouse. What you see, this is, in fact, the bottom layer. 
these are, let's say, your own systems. And it can be an ERP, it can be a WMS, it can be a TMS. These are all these, call it silos probably, uh, because interaction is hard. And we also learned today that people are thinking about how to combine my ERP with my web shop or how to combine my um, ERP with my packing machine. And we had a good discussion about it. And what we do is that we build a layer on top of the existing systems and the landscape. So we built a layer on top of that. And with this extra layer, people are able to get this superpower to better predict, to better serve their clients, to better inform their clients. So this is about the Lighthouse. It's an interactive cloud platform on top of your existing infrastructure. So we are not coming in and tell you, you need to change all your infrastructure, no. We will say, keep your infrastructure, which data are available where, which data can we pull from which sources, and then we do the magic trick and we offer you a stable layer on top of your existing landscape. And with our cloud solution, of course, it's scalable. And it's always when you would like to grow your business, one of the questions is how can we do it? Is it scalable? Yes, with Mixmove, it's scalable. We can do a few hundred parcels, loading units a day, but we can also do hundreds of thousands. So we are ready for you. Here I show you some uh, figures, uh, in fact, with the layer on top of it. Yeah, we are involved uh, during production, we are involved during the planning and loading, we are involved during the transportation, the warehouse, how does that look like? And yeah, what about the, the final mile transportation and also returns? And on top, just some figures where we have proven to be successful. Uh, and I will show you more figures even later. Uh, it's about the company 3M. Probably all of you know them from the face mask and the, uh, the yellow uh, stickers. 35% uh, reduced logistic cost. We increased the transport fill rate from below 50 till around 90. So if you go from 50 till 90, yeah, it's around plus 90. And it can even be more. Plus 100 means the throughput in your warehouse when using Mixmove, warehouses are able to pick smarter. And by picking smarter, they will double the throughput in the warehouse. Which means if you double the throughput, you can save on cost or you can put more goods through it. And last but not least, it's very hot at the moment and it will be very hot in the future. Uh, it's about the reduction of 50% which is possible reduction of CO2 emissions. And it's not that rocket science, because I mean, if you are able to fill your trucks better, you need less trucks. And if you need less trucks, you drive less kilometers, it's less pollution. So this is how it goes. Here a little bit about the magic from Mixmove. Um, what you often see is that warehouses pick their products by order, by customer order. Customer A has ordered product A, B, C, and we pick it together. And then we create a shipment. But what we say, customer A has A, B, C, customer B has, for example, C, D, E, F, and then we say, just pick by product. And if you pick by product, then put the products on pallets and get them out of your warehouse, you will be able to get higher pallets. And if you get higher pallets, you get better filtrate, and you reduce your cost. And then, of course, the question may be, yeah, it's nice, Arion, but how are you going to do that? How are the goods arriving at the customer? That's the next step. That's, in fact, consolidation at destination. They collect the goods, they combine it, put several passes together, put several boxes together, create one uh, over box, and then you pay only one box locally instead of three boxes internationally. This is huge money saving as we see it. Here, um, let's say, um, it's, as I told you, spot the item. We have item visibility. Um, 
I told you about it's no huge workaround. It's uh, no, no IT change is needed. We take it as you have it. Um, with the data and the single source of truth, we can forecast delivery times down to the minute. Uh, reduction in CO2, I spoke about it. I spoke about the 35% transportation cost, um, the 90% increase of uh, filling rates, and immediate success. Here, about 3M, these are other figures, even higher. It's with 3M that Mixmove have, has been founded. Uh, the solution has been proven, and because it's proven, they are very happy with it. And you see a lot of uh, yeah, improvements. You see it with, D with 3M themselves, you see it with the DHL warehouse, and you also see it with DHL, uh, yeah, let's call it the final mile uh, carrier. A lot of savings, improvement, and that only because of one layer and the magic behind it on top of your systems. I don't have many more minutes, so if you would like to hear more, and uh, we can surprise you today, just come to stand B6. We are ready to, uh, to tell you more about it. And um, thank you for your attention. Here are my contact details, so uh, happy to talk further with you. Thank you. Ja, vielen Dank, Arjan. Ähm, ja. Komplexes Thema. Ich denke, da muss man auf jeden Fall nochmal zu dir kommen und da ein bisschen tiefer Gerne. einsteigen. Äh, dann wahrscheinlich auch äh, auf Deutsch und auf Englisch. Du bist Beide. ja bilingual auf jeden Fall sehr gut unterwegs. Ja. Danke dir. Gerne. Bis ja. zum nächsten Mal und äh, gerne bis später. Dankeschön.